That story we promised you earlier. A group of CVU students heads to Houston next month to compete in an international robotics championship. Our Alyssa Borden met with the robotics team earlier today. Alyssa, building a robot is not something I can do. It sounds like you can't either. No, Kat, but these kids have figured out how to build robots too, actually. And not, are the robot, not only are the robots fully functional, but the CVU Robohawks tell me they think their machines could take down the competition. With every cone drop comes a jump in confidence for the CVU robotics team. On the surface, it looks like we're just putting cones on the goals, but there's actually specific orders and processes that you need to follow to get um, additional points. Both the Varsity Robo Hawks and the Junior Varsity Robo Red Hawks have secured a spot at an international robotics competition, first championships in Houston. With a few weeks to departure, all that's left to do is perfect their robots. And this year, the Robohawks have a new design that they call the Halo. But basically, it's a bearing that encompasses the entire robot that has the claw mounted to it. And that allows the claw to rotate cones around the entire robot without actually moving the robot itself. And this is a design that we feel is extremely innovative because we've never seen it before. This isn't their first Robo Rodeo. The Robo Hawks made an appearance at the championship in Houston last year, too. And I'm just so excited to be able to do it again. And this time with just that little bit extra confidence of like, okay, I've done this before. The varsity team got the invite this year after winning the Inspire Award at the statewide competition in February for starting six robotics teams at middle schools. By offering mentorship to younger engineers, this is their way to pass the torch. As they say, they're all self-taught. The internet is like one of the greatest tools. I mean, it's we're sort of all self-taught. Our biggest teacher was students from previous years that just pass down what they know. While they hope to be recognized for that outreach in Texas, they also want to have the best robot too. Our drivers have been practicing like crazy and they just mesh really well when they're on the field. Alongside the varsity team, the junior varsity team is also gearing up to go. Their robot has a different design, but accomplishes the same thing, using recycled parts and knowledge from their more seasoned peers. They helped us like with all the wiring and stuff and how to like program, so I think that helped us a lot. While a win would be nice, these students say they're happy to have gained some life skills and friends along the way. Because our school, like the school is like all academic stuff, but this is more like technical based. Okay. And I think that's like really helpful. The team leaves for Texas on April 16th to compete for four days. You can learn more on our website on WCAX.com. Kat? Alyssa, thank you.